Hi, I'm Don Jones. System center licensing used to be impossible to figure out. Every single product, config manager, ops manager, data protection manager, they all had different licensing schemes, and it was really tough to figure out how many of what you needed to buy. Well, Microsoft has simplified that for System Center 2012, and in this micro nugget, we're going to take a quick look at how System Center 2012 licensing really works. For System Center 2012, licensing has been broken into three different categories. Now, the first category includes System Center Configuration Manager and System Center Virtual Machine Manager, Config Manager and VMM. Now, you need to buy one of those license packs for each machine that's going to be managed by one or both of those products. Now, in most environments, that means you're going to need to buy one of those for all of your server computers, because of course you're going to manage those, as well as all of your client computers and your other client devices like tablets and PDAs, anything that Configuration Manager is going to manage. Now, in your data center, that also includes one license per virtual machine because you're probably going to manage those with Config Manager and Virtual Machine Manager. Now, the other easy one down here is Forefront. There's a separate pack that gives you Forefront uh, endpoint protection. So again, any place you're going to be using that endpoint protection, whether it be a server or a client computer, you're going to need to have one of those licenses. It's likely that if you choose to go with the Forefront piece of this, you're going to have just as many of these as you do of these. Now, all of the other System Center products fall under this other license. So we've got Service Manager, we've got Operations Manager, we've got Data Protection Manager, and we've got Orchestrator. You buy one of these license packs for each machine that's going to be managed by one of those products. So this applies primarily to your data center, not so much your client computers. Your data center is what you're going to be backing up with DPM. It's what you're going to, actually, this is supposed to be Operations Manager, not OP. Uh, it's what you're going to be monitoring using Operations Manager. It's what you're probably going to be running uh, runbook automation with using Orchestrator. So you'll probably have one of these for every computer or virtual machine or client device in your organization. You'll probably have about as many of these. One reason you might have less is if you are using System Center Configuration Manager to manage endpoint devices like slates or, or smartphones or PDAs, you're probably not going to protect those with Forefront because that's not how they work. And then for every machine in your data center, you'll also have one of these license packs. That's how most people are, are probably going to fall out with this. Now, depending on what kind of license you've already got with Microsoft, you might already have some of these. For example, if your agreement with Microsoft includes the core Cal pack, that includes SCCM and SCVMM. So the core Cal has that built right in for whatever endpoints you're going to be con uh, controlling, managing with those things, which is probably, again, all of your server and client computers. If you've got the enterprise Cal, you get everything. You get the forefront protection, you get ops manager, you get the entire system center suite for every single machine that's covered by that enterprise client access license. So this has just been kind of a quick and dirty overview of how licensing works, but as you can see, it's a lot easier than it used to be in the old System Center days, and it means that more organizations are really going to be able to leverage all of the System Center pieces all together as they were meant to be used. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.